we're back here at the sugar shack in Alex draws a sugar bush getting some work done on it while we can took almost two hours to shovel all the snow and ice out of that place <laughs> but that's not what I wanted to show you so this is we got it's a little hard to see Alex has been playing in them there's a nice visible one we had that big old bull elk come through sometime in the past week after all the snowfall some of the tracks are pretty visible and I don't think he was alone may, may just be the way the tracks have melted but me and the one neighbor referred to him as the satellite elk I'm not sure if that's a proper term or not but I've heard Russ mention him by that call him by that too yeah he walked right back through the sugar bush over by the jello log area if I would have had my camera on I would have caught him twice on the camera once going away from it and once coming back towards it before he headed out over that ridge over there his usual route Alex was pretty happy to find the tracks but the whole area is just covered in elk tracks right now like the overall area little buggers are everywhere <laughs> oh come back up here to the main trail there's some nice ones right along the trail here he came out from down in there not this section but actually wait a minute I better reach it fit, phrase that no that's just Alex playing okay <laughs> no he's came out just up here a ways came up from down in the swamps, down like in marsh areas over there, between here and the ponds. Came right up to the trail, went almost right to the cabin, then kind of zigzagged his way back, coming right down the tra main trail. And we, we've kind of smushed his tracks here quite a bit. Me and Alex have been back and forth quite a few times, but See if we can find one here that's really really stands out mind you just the size of that hole <laughs> that really stands out on its own there's a nice one you can catch the hoof prints in there pretty awesome to see them that they're coming right up through the yard Pretty nice area. Lots of wildlife kicking around. And having these elks that come through. Wish the whole herd would come through again. It's been a while since they all came through, but yeah, great, great thing to have around. They don't seem to be affecting the deer very much. Which is always good. Um, I think they kind of got their own little places between the two of them. They all have their routes. and The deer have their air bedding areas and travel routes. They never really seem to coincide with each other too much. So. Yeah. Right through the yard, literally right past the door of the sugar shack. Oh. <laughs> okay, so here's the progress that we're slowly making here on the sugar shack. Now that it's cleaned out. Working on this wall. This is going to be a nice big two foot by four foot window. I'm not... I'm eventually would love to have an actual real window like right across this whole spot 
So I can see all the way out through here. For now, it'll be shutter style. This sheet of plywood. I want to frame it with two by six, preferably pressure treated if I can get my hands on them. And if you're wondering, yes, them ropes are what's holding them logs up. Just the top two, but that's what's holding them up there right now. I just got them put up. We had to do a block and tackle idea over top of the lo top log. Lift them up there. Gonna have one small gap to get filled in. Not 100% sure how I'm gonna go about that, but... Once I get things figured out a bit better and fastened in place, <laughs> we'll work on that. So, and I'm going to have the same issue. I need to put one more good size log in here or two. If I can find two pieces of log that I can use to fill the gap, perfect. This side is going to be a little trickier. But we'll get her done. Yeah, take this one down some. I know where the spikes are all located, so I could use the saw and trim out some areas like right here. Just got to be really careful because there's a spike right there. This one, if I was to put a good spike in there, I could bring that down. But that's just going to make this gap bigger. I tilt the whole edge of the wall more. I do have my plan figured out for filling all the gaps, like for the chinking in it, so. Getting there. As you can see, still no skids in for doing the walls with, but we're, we've got a collection started. Hopefully, hopefully next trip, if the snow cooperates, melts off some more. Cody couldn't make it in. Got to the point where I wasn't even going to try to go any farther. So it's just been me and Alex and what we can carry ourselves. We do got the spot here. I got this all this broken ice. That's the stuff that was on the heavy raised floor. I'm going to shovel that all out. As you can see, I got my spot all set up for the separator that figured out but yeah the main main thing i wanted to show you is was the awesome elk tracks going through i love seeing that maybe i'll sometime while i'm in here boiling or something he'll walk come through I can just stand right here and pet him on his way past. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, just lean out the window here. There you go. What a good boy. <laughs> that will be my final video of my life. <laughs> so, probably a bad idea. That silly dog over there. Okay, anyway, I'm babbling. Everything's pretty much ready. So, just got to get st the rest of the stuff moved up here. Get these walls done. Won't take long once I got the materials in here. Oh, oh. lots of work, lots of work. I think the rest of the today is going to be to get them Double logs there, they're already spiked together. They're from where I cut the space for the window. That's why I had to get them both up there at the same time. But yeah, today's going to be get them fastened it solid in place. And I think that'll be about it. Go hang out at the cabin, make pizza for dinner. 
I love how clear this camera this video is. We get a good shot of the sugar shack here. There we go. And on that note, we'll talk to everyone later. Everyone have a great day. Talk soon.